In a controversial decision praised by environmentalists and criticized by the oil and gas industry, the Biden administration announced Friday a temporary pause on pending approvals of liquefied natural gas LNG, export facilities. The U.S. is the number one exporter of LNGs, per the White House fact sheet. Proponents argue that LNG exports are an economic boon that gives the U.S. more geopolitical leverage. Its exports to Europe have helped the EU break its reliance on Russia amid the Russia-Ukraine war. But environmentalists have denounced the continued build-out of LNG export infrastructure as a commitment to continued long-term use of fossil fuels, with facilities burdening the local communities where they are built. The announcement comes as activists have recently targeted one project in particular, the so-called CP2 export facility proposed in Louisiana. The New York Times reported earlier this week that the White House was weighing a pause of this project, but CNN noted on Friday, citing administration officials, that CP2 would not be immediately affected by Friday's pause because it has not yet received Federal Energy Regulatory Commission approval, which it needs before seeking Energy Department approval. Proponents of new LNG projects were quick to denounce the decision. U.S. Representative Dusty Johnson RSD, wrote on X that the pause will hurt our economy and threaten energy affordability and dependability for our allies forcing them to rely on countries like Russia, while U.S. Representative Max Miller R. Ohio, said that blocking LNG exports will only help Russia, Iran and China. A spokesperson for Venture Global, the company behind the CP2 project, told CBS News that the Biden administration continues to create uncertainty about whether our allies can rely on USLNG for their energy security.